Monthly bills are kind of nice in a way. Of all the money you need to spend in a month, at least you know these expenses are coming. These are things like your streaming services, your internet bill, utility, or even your rent. In today's video, I'm going to go over some credit cards that can get you rewards for all of these things without any annual fees. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Before we jump in, it would mean a lot to me if you can hit the like button down below, subscribe, and turn on notifications. As a newer channel, this helps me get these videos to as many people as possible and I appreciate your support. First up on the list of credit cards that can help is any non-category card. And I recommend a card that can get you at least 2% back. These are cards like the City Double Cash, the Wells Fargo Active Cash, or even the PayPal MasterCard. In fact, regarding the PayPal MasterCard, some bills can even be paid for with PayPal, and so the PayPal MasterCard would be great as you can get 3% back on those expenses. Basically, home utilities and things like that don't often fall into categories like dining, groceries, or any of the other categories you typically find on cards. However, there are a few cards that have specific categories for monthly expenses like home utilities and internet and TV bills. And the first card I want to talk about is the Wells Fargo Autograph card. This card has a variety of 3% categories, but the ones I'm concerned about are the streaming service and the cell phone bill categories. With all these different streaming services nowadays, these bills can add up really quickly. And I want you to get the most rewards possible for this. With regard to your cell phone bill, if you do use this card for it, you are eligible for Wells Fargo's cell phone protection service, which covers you for the cost to repair or replace your cell phone in the event that it's damaged, lost, or stolen. The next card I want to mention is the US Bank Cash Plus card. This card allows you to pick two categories to earn 5% back on. Three of those categories are TV, internet, and streaming, which are all considered one category, cell phone providers, and home utilities. That first category I mentioned is really broad, and I definitely recommend this card for that. The next question is, should you use your second category on another monthly expense? And I guess that depends on what else you plan to spend on this card. The last card on this list is the Built card, and I recommend this card to anyone that has to pay rent. You'll earn one rewards point per dollar spent on rent paid through the Built app, with your card account up to a maximum of 50,000 points per calendar year. Not only can you now pay rent with a credit card, you can also earn points too, and it works by giving you an account and routing number similar to a checking account to use for your rent payments. Now the catch is that you can only get these points if you use this card three times that month, and this is sort of to prevent people from sock drawing this card and using it only for rent. No matter. This card does have a 3% dining category, meaning that there is another use for this card other than paying rent. These points can be transferred to transfer partners, and honestly, there's a lot to say about this card, and I'll probably do a full review of this in the future. Anyways, those are the cards I've come across that can help you with your monthly expenses. Any cards that I miss? What do you use for your monthly expenses? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like videos like this, be sure to check out my other videos on my channel using the link in the description down below. Until next time, let's go out there and get some free stuff.